Comic fam, we got more hot comics to discuss. Another week, another list, and even another list, and even more hot comics to discuss. We're chatting the runners-up list on Key Collector Comics, the best comic app in existence, with Gem from Gem Mint Collectibles. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great, Tom. Thank you for asking. What's going on, everybody out there? These are the honorable mentions, the books that didn't quite make the hot 10 list, but still had some record-breaking sales. There's actually 20 of these. If you go to keycollector.com, we're going to be talking about the top 10. Available for both Androids and iPhones. Utilize the code TOM101 for a free two-week subscription of the app. Keep track of your collecting. Keep track of your spec. Figure out average sales. And let's hit them with number 10 on this list. Hit the like. Slap the subscribe. Stay tuned to the end. We have a giveaway on deck. We got to chat about the Scorpion. We're talking Matt Gargan. His first appearance as the Scorpion in Amazing Spider-Man. Issue 20, Silver Age Spider-Man Steve Ditko goodness. Matt Gargan actually appears in comic books for the first time in the prior issue, number 19, but he doesn't go full Scorpion until 20, and similar to the movies, he hasn't gone full Scorpion. Will he don this classic costume? Well, we have seen a Lego set get released with a very mechanical-looking Scorpion that's pushing numbers up, aside from investors wanting to secure what Silver Age they can. The 1.8 going for $360 in April is up 67%, selling for an all-new high of 600. Moving on to number nine on the list, we have Avengers issue 144. This is the first time Patsy Walker becomes the Hellcat. We've seen Patsy, but not in the MCU. Now we're talking Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, as well as the Defenders. And there's a lot of spec specifically pointed at Netflix heroes, especially considering that Charlie Cox is slated to reprise his role in Spider-Man 3. We have a 9.8 Mark Jewelers that hit the market. Last selling back in 2019 for $1,300, up 77% this week, selling for an all-new record breaker of $2,300. And next on the list, we have Avengers number 11. This is the first crossover of our web slinger with the Avengers. But not only that, it's the second appearance of Kang the Conqueror, who's been a little popular these days. We have a CGC 8.0, which sold for $661 back in 2009. It's up 83% with this new record-breaking sale of $1,211. Keep an eye out for those second appearances. They keep climbing and considering that this is a Silver Age double key, it's looking better and better by the day. Just like this next one on the list, still reeling from the WandaVision hit. The spec is real. We have at number seven, Uncanny X-Men issue number four. The first appearance of the Scarlet Witch, her brother Quicksilver, and the Brotherhood of Evil being led by Magneto. That's right, the Brotherhood of Evil Mutant with the first appearance of Toad and Mastermind, plus the second appearance of Magneto. A CGC 2.0 sold for $965 back in February, and that's up 82%, now selling for $1,760. And what's this at number six? We're talking Jim Lee goodness, 90s goodness, X-Men number one, and we're talking about the variant. We're talking the Colossus, Storm, Gambit, and Psylocke cover. And the reason why this is on the list is because we have a 9.9 record-breaking sale here. The last time a 9.9 hit the market was 2019 when it sold for $500. Well, it's up 110%, now selling for $1,050. Tom, hit him with that census count. Oh, that's right. The 9.9, putting this book at a whole different scarcity level because it's heavily printed. There are only 11 copies graded on the census at that high grade versus the 9.8 that has a total of 3,521. And next on the list, we're going to keep the Kang spec going, taking you back to Egypt. We're talking Ramatut. We're talking Fantastic 419 at number five. This is actually the first comic book where Stan Lee says enough said in the special announcements, leading to Comic Tom's famous catchphrase at the end of these videos. A CGC 7.0 sold for $1,315 in October. It's up 115%. The first appearance of Ramatut in a 7.5 going for $2,900. We know Rama Tut is Kang from the future sent back via the Sphinx because the Sphinx is a time traveling machine in the MCU in Marvel Comics. Well, we see Kang, Jonathan Majors, Don, the famous Egyptian where it's looking more likely by the day. And next on the list at number four, we have Toss, Tales of Suspense 40 to discuss the second appearance of Iron Man, Tony Stark. 
and the debut of his gold model one armor a cgc 2.0 sold for 235 dollars back in 2019 and it's up 154 percent now selling for 596 dollars now moving on to number three on the list i knew i wore this robin shirt for a reason we have golden age batman goodness with batman issue 63. we have the first appearance of the killer moth who's largely a Batgirl villain and with Batgirl slated very soon for HBO Max how about the first time she took out a villain someone who modeled in every way the Dark Knight in the comic books a golden age book a book that's so tough to find in any grade and when an 8.0 hit the market aside from the spec it was bound to break records, and it did this week. Back in 2008, an 8.0 went for $1,793 to be outdone with a new sale of $5,000 this week. That's an increase of 179%. Will we see the killer moth? Will we see the moth mobile? Only time will tell on that. I really want to know, are we going to see Johnny Storm go to college in the MCU? <laughs> That's right. Next up the list, we're talking about FF50. Johnny Storm going to college. Silver Surfer getting his third appearance. Galactus getting his second appearance on the brownest of covers. But hey, when you can't secure a 48 and 49, 50 is the next best thing. We also have the first appearance of the Ultimate Nullifier. Now, Tom doesn't like the ultimate nullifier, but you had to come up with something to defeat Galactus. Anyway, a CGC 2.5 sold for $140 back in December. It's up 186%. Johnny going to college now for $400 in the 2.5. Comic fam, hit the link in the description or go to comictom101.com to join the August Mystery Mail Call. Starting in July, we started including a kid-appropriate comic in every single box. We have a Jetsons 1 homage going on the new, what's going to be a hit for the whole family, Action Tank number 1. A kid that gets drafted to a space police force and he's got to travel the stars to make it back home to have his mom's spaghetti link in the description invest in the next generation of readers and let's take a look at the number one book on our honorable mentions list before we jump into number one make sure you guys hit the subscribe here if you've been enjoying the video hit the thumbs up and if you guys want to see weekly comic book reviews or statue unboxings swing over to my channel and subscribe as well with that being said number one on the list we're talking thor 129 now what's the significance of this book well it's the first appearance of a ton of gods and we know thor love and thunder has the god butcher he's got to kill somebody we know Christian Bale is slated to take on that necro sword and slay gods on screen in the upcoming Thor sequel. But we also have the first appearance of a plethora of gods, Ares, who is the Greek god of war in Marvel continuity. But there's a bunch of others as well. Now, there's already speculation that Ares will be in the film, but like I said, this book is the first appearance of many gods. You have Hermes, the messenger god. You have Hera, the wife of Zeus. You have Dionysius, the god of wine. Artemis, the goddess of hunters. Hephaestus, or Vulcan, the weapons maker of the gods. And the first appearance of Herokin, a deceased Asgardian adversary to Thor. Good job not butchering those names, Jem. No pun intended. There was a monster 9.2 sale that we haven't seen since 2014, last selling for $275, up 336% this week, selling for an all-new record of $1,200. What did you think about this video, comic fam? Let me know in the comment section below. Like, subscribe, comment to enter to win a TMNT Peach Momoko trade dress variant, last Ronin in preview, and as always... Geek responsibly and stay minty fresh. Enough said. Make sure to check out the last hot 10 with Gem Mint from Gem Mint Collectibles. And we also have the podcast where we talk about expensive paper for hours. Available on Spotify, iTunes, Stitcher, and SoundCloud as well. Have a great week.